Hey guys, it's CSMA 001 here. Welcome back to the 100% run of Infamous Second Son. Last time we started our entry into Seattle and got some new powers. So, I think we're going to be getting quite a few more new powers in this video, though they're more just, I guess, defensive style or movement style powers. So, let's drain this core relay here. And what is our new power going to be? The ability to jump off cars. So yeah, not super helpful, but interesting, I suppose. So jump by hitting X on top of a car to launch yourself into the air. So kind of cool, I suppose, for faster movement. Like I said, you don't die from jumping in the water in this game. You just have to warp back to shore, so it's not as big a deal as it would be in, like, Infamous 1. Because, I mean, Cole's powers were electricity. His are just smoke and other powers that we're going to see later on. So, this gap looks to be a bit too much to cross. So, we're going to have to get a new power. <laughs> so, this is how you get powers in this game, unlike going through the substations underground in Infamous 1. I know I like comparing it to Infamous 1 most of the time because I've never really played much of Infamous 2, and I know that Infamous 1 is generally considered to be the better game of the two. From everyone that I've talked to, some people might think differently, though. Ready? Galvin, what's this I hear about you and your brother taking off your seat? It's really not a good time, Betty. Okay, you just be careful. Have fun. Okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> yes, let's have fun jumping across a bridge that it seems to be trying to kill us. So, this is sort of another ability, even though we've already been able to do this. Jump off the car, and then hit circle to smoke dash. You can only do it once at the time, and then hold X to continue hovering. So, that's how you can cross large gaps in this game. Yeah, cut it out, devil bridge. It's not trying to kill you, it just has a mind of its own, like the robot we had to build in engineering. I swear, if anyone from my school is watching this, that project was so, so annoying. We had to build from scratch and program a robot using some kind of software that really does not work that well. And the stupid robots, as every single one of us, even the teacher eventually learned, has a mind of its own, and it just likes to do whatever it wants half the time. It never listens to the programming. Literally one time it'll have the same program every time. Sometimes it'll go straight, sometimes it'll curve 30 feet left, sometimes it'll go a little to the right. Oh my god, I really hated that. But it's finally over. And I only have like two more weeks of classes, and then exams, and then senior projects, and then I'm done for high school, so I can't freaking wait. Yeah, if anyone from my school is watching that, yeah. I hated that. I love engineering and I love the teacher, but this semester has been kind of brutal at times, especially with that. Okay, seriously, it's a one foot drop. You cannot be complaining about it. It's a one foot drop, Reggie. It's like, a, it's, yeah, it's seriously a one foot drop. What's the big deal? Yeah. Uh. Seem to be getting the hang of your, uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that, uh... Nope, can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. So normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We can did. take these well, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, yeah, fine, fine. Do it your way. Sounds like a good idea. Less combat, the easier things can be. Just promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. <laughs> No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Christian's really worried about I've that. never been called that either, Delson, so don't worry. Power that, you, that natural bioterrorists have 
the government accused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. So that's actually really interesting, is that the DUP forces, they aren't natural conduits, as Reggie just said, but they actually have, or they've been given, uh, conduit-style powers, more basic ones. So that's actually kind of an interesting thing. So technically, they're all bioterrorists, but the government doesn't consider them bioterrorists. Yeah, I can make fun of the U.S. government so much during this. Meantime... And our government has made it too easy to make fun of them. So it's like, it's okay for people to have conduit powers as long as it's the government. Sounds like a uh, typical gun control argument. Is that it's okay for the government to have guns, just not the citizens. Like I said, I'm going to be making fun of the U.S. government a lot during this. Probably not quite as much as I did in Infamous 1, though, with the the way that government is in Infamous 1, because that's just a seriously traitor government, or not traitor, just a really deceitful, deceptive government. Not unlike what we have today, but still. Okay, gate, open, thank you. So, these are scanning stations. Uh, what you do is you go up to them. Now, you don't ever have to scan again after this, but you can, but you do have to destroy these to get blast shards for upgrades and to get the 100%, so, yeah. Of course. I don't think that's gonna happen. So, Delphin, run! The hell was that? Not good. He, he just beat up a conduit with like two melee hits. Like, really? These guys are. These guys must be pretty weak then. Okay. So destroy the scanning stations and drain the blast shard from them to get a little bit of completion percentage. A good karma thing you can do though is free. Excuse me, free people from those uh, holding pins. I mean, that's part of what you gotta do to get the Platinum Trophy, and it's easy good karma, so yeah. You wanna get to level 5 good or evil karma, because doing so will allow you to upgrade all of your powers in the game. Now, one thing that's really great about this game's 100%, unlike Infamous 1, aside from the fact that there's not 350 blast shards in this game, the main advantage, though, is that every single thing you have to do for 100% actually shows up on your radar, which is really, really cool. Now, most of the time it won't show up until you clear DUP mobile command centers. We'll get more into that later. But, yeah, I mean, that's what's so great about it is that literally every single thing you have to do to 100% the game will show up on your map. So it, do it's, it doesn't take as long. It's not as difficult. All that good stuff. Uh, good uh, option there. You can heal civilians. If you drain while you're taking damage, you or while you're low on health, you can heal up. Which is good, because that was an infamous one, I believe. So these are standard DUP soldiers. They can't really do too much to you. They'll just sort of shoot at you and try to hurt you, even though they usually don't do too much. And hang on a second. I've got, like, no smoke power right now. Uh, let's see if we can drain this, because we need some smoke. Uh, later on, once we get more powerful abilities, we can just, like, take these bridges and stuff. Not bridges, but, uh, these little areas just take them down. And they're trying to surrender, so let's see if we can surrender them. Or just get up here and make them surrender. Gotcha. And gotcha. Oh, that's good karma, and it's easy good karma, so I'm not going to complain. See, so yeah, I'm going to try to get to the higher levels of good karma quickly, just because, or as quickly as I can, while still beating the game efficiently, just because having higher levels of good karma does allow you to get new powers, or just upgrade more. The faster you get them, the faster you get those new powers, so that's how you're supposed to do it. It's just easier when you get more powerful attacks. Uh, but I am out of smoke, so... Hey, what the hell, man? You're supposed to be protecting them from me! That's what I was thinking. It's like, you're supposed to be defending us, but you're not. 
Once again, that's the U.S. government for you. They're supposed to be defending us, but if they sense a threat, they'll fire on their own people, most likely. Okay, that is a DUP security camera right there. This is another type of collectible, sort of. Aw, oh, man. Okay. And I don't even have freaking comet drop yet. Well, dang it. So now that I guess that camera gets to live. Okay, we're gonna have to use melee for a few moments until I can manage to actually... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Fortunately, just hitting him once doesn't usually kill him, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and head through this and see if we can drain some stuff up top. So yeah, those are DUP security cameras. You have to destroy all of them to get the 100%. Very easy to destroy, but staying near them for too long will sometimes make more enemies come after you, so I don't suggest staying around them for too long without destroying them. I like that ability. I like that ability, I mean. Sounds like a good plan. So another thing in this game is that unlike in the other infamous games, you don't actually have to hold a button to be able to fire. You can just straight up fire your weapons, which is actually really, really nice. All right, I think I see it. Uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Yeah, that sounds about right. Vent panels along the side. If you blow out enough of those, the core should overheat and be exposed. I do like to zoom in though sometimes because it does allow for slightly more accurate shots at the cost of a little bit of movement speed. So, to destroy the DUP mobile command centers... Okay, you know what? Get off! Oh, I don't think I hit you because I don't think I have enough range on this power yet. Eh, lucky you, I don't really have much power yet. Hey, hey, hey! So that's actually a new type of enemy. He'll use concrete to try to escape. I'd much rather have concrete than freaking smoke, though, as we'll see later in the game, because concrete is extremely overpowered once you finally get it. Smoke, I would say, is probably actually the least effective power in the game. The reason being, it's just... It's just not as powerful, and I just don't really like the attacks as much. It's just harder to clear people out just using smoke. <laughs> I heard his scream from here. That was actually kind of funny. Ah! I barely even hit him. Oh well. Okay, so let's see how many more we need to clear out. To take out these mobile command centers, you're going to need to do what Reggie said and hit five of the vents on them. And I'm out of smoke again. Excellent. Uh, let's drain from right here. There we go. Hey, 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 hey! That is not very nice of you, sir. No hitting me while I'm trying to drain electricity. Okay, not electricity, I mean smoke. I'm gonna have to get used to that again, because I am used to having played through Infamous 1 like four times and remembering electricity is the main attack. I am glad that this game made such a wide variety of like powers and attacks and stuff. Hey, no, no, and no. Melee will not be a very useful ability later in the game, so yeah. Uh, let's subdue you. Subdue you, let's heal you up. Ooh, we're about actually a third of the way to our next karma level. Heal you. Stupid security camera. Just die. Seriously, I don't like you. Okay, so... Looks like we've killed most of the enemies here. Uh, now we're gonna need more smoke. Uh, let's free these people first so I don't actually accidentally destroy the pins. Yeah, I know what to do, man. I'm just... I'm out of smoke right now, so I don't really have anything I can do at the moment. I need to go find some smoke. Looks like there's someone trying to surrender up here. Uh, I'll come make you surrender, but first I need more smoke. Out of energy, find a power source. Yeah, I know that already. Ah, there's one right up here. Okay, let's drain a little bit of smoke, and let's make this guy surrender. Ooh, quad rotor. Destroying those will always give you blast shards, so you want to destroy every single one that you come across. 
And I mean, it's necessary for 100%, so yeah, I'm going to be doing it anyway. But like I said, it'll all appear on the map once you have destroyed a mobile command center. Every single thing for the 100% will appear on your map, which it makes this game so much easier to 100%. Okay, go up to it, hold, like you have to keep your finger holding up on the touchpad and then hit R2 a bunch of times. And the mobile command center is destroyed. That will make everything in this district appear on your map. There are 13 districts to the game. Oh, that's not good. We're already encountering minigun guys. They are really stepping up their game. So interestingly enough, we're fighting uh, minigun guys in like the third video of the game, and you didn't fight a whole lot of them until much later in Infamous 1. They're pretty annoying too, like they can take a lot of damage. And they don't ever usually seem to be phased by shots. Ooh, this is good though, we managed to knock him out. So what you do there is you either make him surrender, or subdue him, I mean. Or you can just execute him, depending on your karma alignment. So, pretty simple. Hey, Delson, you know, I just realized all the DUPs have concrete powers, right? So hey, all you have to do is drain one of them, and you can go home. If it doesn't work, it will mean you were wrong about that, huh? Then we can still go home. Uh, yeah, but the problem is these guys aren't real conduits, and this little girl's running away. Well, I wouldn't blame him, though. I think he made a good decision trying to run away, even though I didn't let him and I just subdued him. But, unfortunately, these guys are not prime conduits. These guys are just conduit human hybrids. I don't know what you'd call them, but they're not real conduits. Uh, let's just continue draining all these blast shards around here. I mean, I like calling them blast shards. I don't think that's technically their name. They're just called shards, but just keep draining them. Uh, where are you? Well, he's dead. I mean, when we got our previous powers, they were alive. Trying to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. The hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. DUP Mobile Command Center destroyed. Queen and side missions now available. Blast shard shown on map. Respawn point unlocked. Okay. Uh, welcome to Seattle. So it shows like all the enemies that you killed and all the karmic actions that you did as well, which is actually really cool. Destroy that. New custom jacket now available. That's not really that big a deal. They don't really do anything. They just change your appearance a little bit. So let's start clearing a few things out. Any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Yeah, well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? Do you keep tapping them for more powers? No, forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's going to happen. All right. <laughs> all right, I get it. Look, just... Make him feel guilty, Delson. Good job. That is so nice of you to your own brother, even though I can understand your frustration with it, because I don't want to fight the game's final boss without more powers. Yes, spoiler, but you probably could have anticipated that already, so... Okay, let's kill you. Uh, draining shards will get you back a little bit of power. Ah, crap. Uh, yeah, those are the little DUP mobile patrols, and they'll let enemies out that come try to kill you. Try not to use any powers near them so that they don't attack you like that, that one is to me. They appear on your map as the little arrow things. Uh, the police. You can actually kill off the police forces on a, on a bad karma playthrough. Well, I mean, you can kill them off on a good karma playthrough, but you actually can kill them off on bad karma to get additional bad... Excuse me, additional bad karma. 
Okay, on the map, you're going to see little icons like this uh, blue symbol here. When you see icons like this, that means that there's something you can do there. In this case, it's a drug bust, but there's all sorts of different types. We'll cover those later on, although not the red ones, technically. For drug bust, you have to subdue or kill all the enemies there and then destroy the drug container. So, pretty simple at least. Pretty easy, and they're a lot weaker than dupes, so don't worry about it. But it's definitely worth doing because it gets you good karma and it's pretty easy. So, to get 100% in the game, as you're going to see on the map here, you have to collect all the blast shards, which is a lot already. Side missions won't appear until the next in game day, though, unfortunately, for whatever reason in this first district. But, uh, you also you have to destroy the mobile command center, and it shows on the right side all you have left to do, which is really, really awesome that they do that. They made it very user friendly. You have to destroy all the scanning stations, security cameras, jammers, blast shards, collect them all, I mean. The mobile command center, the four types of side missions, and then defeat the district showdown. Mm -hmm. Which we'll cover more of the district showdown on the district showdowns much later. Because we cannot encounter one until we're at sub 30% uh, DUP control in a district. Right now this one's at like 51%. So we can't really do anything about it just yet. Blast shards are always worth collecting though, so feel free to go out of your way for them because they're actually very helpful because they're your, you know, upgrade ability. The red areas are the restricted zones that you're, you don't want to enter unless you have the intention of destroying the mobile command center. And we're not going to be destroying any more mobile command centers just yet because I want to get more powers before we go after another one because they get to be pretty difficult, as do these district showdown missions that we're going to be doing later on. So I would suggest getting quite a few more powers. However, this very first district, we could go ahead and do everything in and not really worry about. But uh, we're running short on time here, guys, so next time we will drain some more relays for some more powers, so see you guys then.